Hey folks, thanks for tuning in to another episode of Dirt Fishing Doug. I'm sorry I haven't posted any videos recently, but the Christmas holiday set in and I simply ran out of time to edit and develop a video. Then, immediately following Christmas, my family and I went on vacation to Florida, and that's the focus of this video. My metal detecting escapades and seashell hunting on the beaches of Anna Maria Island. Relaxing in the cool ocean breezes and soaking in the warmth of the sun was wonderful, but my favorite memory of the vacation was finding someone's lost ring on the beach and the look of joy on the family's faces when I returned it to them. Peter from Fairfax, Virginia, this one is for you. Check it out. It is, yeah. Turn this way because of the sun. There, right, now I can see it better. Yeah, that's really pretty. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Right here. Check that out. That's a nice one. That's a different color. It's big. It's pretty big. It's bigger than the one we found. Brown. That one's really cool. That's, That's big. Cool. All right, let's see if we can find some more. We're out here on Holmes Beach on Anna Maria Island in Florida. And Mrs. Dirt Fishing Doug decided to join me. I'm taking a break from metal detecting, decided to do some hunting for some sand dollars. And we we found quite a few. Very happy with it. I'm gonna be getting and detecting the towel line here pretty soon. But it's low tide. So we thought we would hunt for sand dollars and seashells for a little while. So I'll do a wrap up and show you what we found. It's been a good morning. We're having a lot of fun. So we've had a pretty good morning here on Holmes Beach, Anna Maria Island. We decided to come out early at low tide, which was at I think 749. Do some hunting for some sand dollars and seashells. We had pretty good luck. Check it out. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine sand dollars. And we actually gave one away to a little kid before we found a bunch. Uh, so 10 sand dollars. This is just kind of cool. It's a little broken up. I don't know what that is, but I love the rainbow colors. This is just a really small one. I'm kind of a shell purist. If it's not in perfect shape, I'm not going to keep it. Not sure what kind that is. This is a neat little one. That's in really good shape like finding that I'll uh, get a shell book and put the names of what these are in the videos I think that is a tiger's eye tiger's eye or shark's eye but I think tiger's eye I know that's a fighting conch and it's in good shape and I don't see any critter in there and then this one this is a teaser it looks pretty good it really does I was excited to find it and I turned it over unfortunately it's broken on that side but it's still very cool, big for this area. My wife and I have had a good time hunting for these this morning. And now I've got my Equinox 800 in a small sand scoop and I'm going to metal detect the towel line and see if I can't find anything. Let's dig another hole.
All right, I got a good signal here. It's a 1617. Probably going to be a bottle cap, but we'll see. Four inches down. Right here. Yep. Oh, Mike. Mike lost his bottle cap. He says it's Mike's. Probably we'll find a bunch of these today. But that's the way it goes. Let's dig another hole. All right, so we had a good morning hunting for sand dollars, seashells, and did a little metal detecting on Holmes Beach on Anna Marie Island. Here is all my trash, or most of my trash. Bottle caps, pop top tabs. I even pick up the plastic stuff when I see it. Foil, cans, foil inside of beat boxes. Tent stake, glad to get that off the beach. Here's some keepers from the beach, the plastic toys. And what? One, two, three quarters. One, two, three, four, five dimes, a couple nickels, about eight pennies, and not sure what that is going to be. Probably a penny, all corroded. But before I went metal detecting, we did searching for seashells and sand dollars. And we found all of this. There's like 12 sand dollars there, and we gave a couple away, truthfully. But some really cool shells here. Fighting conch. That's a turkey something, I think. A turkey wing or something. Don't know what that's called. Look at this one. That would have been great had it been whole. But it's broken on the back. But it's still really cool. That's an olive shell. Tiger's eye. Look at the sand dollars again. These are calico scallop shells, the gray ones. And these orange and white things are kitten paws. And a little rainbow colored piece of a shell. So we had a good time. That was this morning's hunt. We're going to get cleaned up, go have some lunch, drive to a different beach, see if we can find some more stuff. Oh, yeah, I forgot the most important find that I had this morning because I'm doing my trash. I was cleaning off the table. And my wife goes, Oh, you didn't tell them about the gold earring that you found. Yeah, I did find one gold earring. I don't know. I'll have to test it to see if it's real or not. But, piece of jewelry. Pretty nice. Cool. Hopefully I can find some more jewelry this afternoon. A treasure. A treasure. A treasure. Cayman Jack. Bottle, Bottle cap. cap. That's <laughs> good stuff, baby. Now, What'd you find? A few moments after I showed the kids what I had found, which was trash. They approached me and told me that they had lost a ring on the beach and asked if I would help find it. So naturally I said, sure, I'll help look for it. And I asked them where they last saw the ring and if they were in the dry sand or down in the wet sand. And they said they were all over the place, but they remember and thought they had lost it closer to the wet sand. So I decided to go look there and this is what happened. Oh my gosh, I... I... Is it a ring? No way! No way! Oh, he found it! Woo! Oh my gosh, he found it! That, uh, that is unbelievable. He just found his ring. 
Okay, so I had a pretty good hunt this afternoon out on the beach. Found a typical trash that you would find at a beach. You know, a plastic cover and a Capri Sun and some bottle caps and other types of bottle caps. Little type of metal, a washer, tent stake, piece of colorful metal. I'm not sure what that goes to. And then my good finds for the afternoon were these a little bit of clad just a dime a couple nickels this yin yang uh, jewelry piece which it's not an earring uh, it's got a pin back so I think it's like a hat pin or something and then this uh, rope bracelet I think it's called it's got a bull's head on it I think it's called a pura vita rope bracelet so that's a pretty good find so I had a good hunt this afternoon but obviously the highlight of the afternoon was finding uh, that ring on the beach for that family. What an experience for me and what a, a great memory for them. I'm sure they'll treasure that ring even more so since they lost it and then it was found. Um, I didn't put this earlier in the video but the, it had been missing for about four to five hours so um, it what a thrill to find that. Anyway, it was a lot of fun. As you can see, I had a wonderful time on my Florida vacation. Now as promised, here are some wrap-up pictures of the seashells my wife and I found on this trip. I hope you enjoy viewing them as you listen to the relaxing beach music, and I'll see you again real soon. God bless.